Hi everybody, I'm Xavier from AeroCoach and welcome to the Wind Tunnel. What we're going to do in this video is explain how a wind tunnel works and the sort of data that we'll collect. So, let's head on in. A wind tunnel is a precision piece of equipment and is made up of three main areas. First, we have the inlet here, which is where the air comes in. The second part is the test section here, where we're going to be collecting all of our data. We have our force plate. And then at the back, we have the fan. Now, what some people don't know about wind tunnels is that the air is pulled past you. That's why the fan is behind us and the ride will be facing in this direction. When you're collecting data in a wind tunnel, it's really important to make sure that the airspeed is consistent and also fast for good data. So for that reason, the inlet starts much, much bigger and then contracts smaller before firing the air at the rider. In a wind tunnel, the bike and the rider are mounted on a force plate, which is this area within the yellow circle here. The force plate measures the amount of force that's acting on it, which is going to be influenced by the air hitting the rider and the bike and being transferred into the force plate. Once we know how much force there is and we have environmental variables such as airspeed and temperature and air density, that means we can calculate how aerodynamic the rider must be. When we're measuring aerodynamic drag, we use a number called CDA. Now the CDA represents how aerodynamic you are. The higher the CDA, the less aerodynamic, and the lower the CDA, the more aerodynamic. What this means is that if you reduce your CDA, then if you're traveling at a consistent speed, you will require less power output to travel at that speed compared with someone with a higher CDA. Once we've established a CDA, we can then calculate power output savings. So for example, a road cyclist traveling at 30 kilometers an hour, if we reduce their CDA by 10%, then over a 50 kilometer ride, they'd go around three minutes faster. So that's an overview of the wind tunnel. Wind tunnels are an extremely important tool for cycling because aerodynamic drag is one of the major resistive forces that slows you down. Hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for some more content and more information about the sorts of things you can do to help speed yourself up.